quarry. Look at the size of this quarry, Shin. Holy shit. We haven't hooked up the quarry for a while, actually. It's it's The energy link hasn't got a pipe going to it, so this thing's just not doing anything. But the weird thing is we're losing loads of power as well, Sips. If you look at our Tower of Power, yeah, I think I made some big big mistakes with the Tower of Power. We've got an MFE over here. Yeah, yeah I th think that you isn't really. Of it's only it's, it's it's going up. The MFE here is gaining energy. Is it? There's an MFSU that just isn't doing anything, and oh. I don't know. I mean, I'm gonna. I think I'm. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna borrow. I'm gonna bring the MFSU with us because they're really valuable. Okay. And uh, we can use it to. Um, yeah. Yeah. She. <laughs> yeah. She. <laughs> um. No, I'm. I'm just. No, I'm gonna stick with the MFE we've got. I'm just gonna fly around with my with my cool ring, and throw a minecart at you while you try to figure out what's going on. Don't do that, Sips. Where are you? Boing. No. I, oh, it's a minecart. Yeah, I told you. I told you I was gonna throw one at you. So have we, have we got everything we need then, Sips? Do you yeah. Think? Well, now that we've got these rings, though, we can get back here very quickly, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna head back to yeah. the base now, Shin, because I got all my waypoints. And I haven't got a ring, stuff. Sips. Oh. Where's Where's the jetpack? Oh. You uh, gonna give me the jetpack? Okay, uh, you're not going to be able to catch up with me, though. It's impossible to fly that thing. Here, I'll, I'll give you the jetpack. No, I can do it. Um, where is it? Is it here? Oh, shit. Where the crap is it? Oh, here it is. This jetpack is crap. This is so slow. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah. this, is, this is like the slowest thing ever. I, I have know. to keep tapping space because hover doesn't work. Yeah, I know. I can't get hover to work either. If you get Hover to work, though, I think it would be pretty good. And the other thing is, is well, is you're going to probably run out of juice because you don't have my cool helmet to accompany the jetpack. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. You're fucked out there, basically. You are <laughs> Oh, no. You, you are royally uh. going to be stranded and fucked out there uh, in that in that sequence as well. So, um, so GG, mate. I'm back at the secret base. Home sweet home. Well, home, home away from home sweet home. Home. Oh, did the vine grow? I didn't even think to check. Let me check. Oh man, I almost landed on some land there by accident. That was close. Did you want? Uh, do you want an update on how much the vine has grown since we left? Yeah, please. How far has it gone? Uh, approximately zero squares. Uh, so there you go, Shin. Wow. Yes. Oh no. That's right. Oh man, um, I just realized it's gonna make things a lot easier with this uh, rending gales super ring thing. Uh, ring ring. Ring a ling a ling ding, dang dong. Rending gales, ring a ding ding. Ring a ling a ding of dong. Ringing. Of, of ding. Ring a ding ding dong. <laughs> yeah. Ring a ding ding dong ring. No, it's gonna make uh, building stuff a lot easier actually. Oh, where's that pumpkin? I'm gonna set up a. Uh... Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be fucking great. We're gonna have a receptionist in like two seconds. You son of a bitch. Take this. I brought some iron blocks. If I can remember how to do this. Do you like this? It's like this, isn't it? Something like this. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah! Look at this! We got a, we've got we got a new friend downstairs, Shin. So just in case anybody tries to get fresh with us. Can we program him? That'd be great. Program him to kill, like, Rithian and Duncan and anyone else who's going to come down here. Try to snoop through all of our cool junk. Oh, yeah. Just, put, yeah, build a computer block and put that on top of the pumpkin. And you, he gets like a computer helmet that you can program. You right click on his head and uh, you just put in kill space Rhythian and then he'll kill Rhythian if he comes close. Really? No. Uh, that would be really sweet. My god. That would be amazing if that. Yeah. Why haven't. Why if hasn't. You program done Iron that? Golems. Why hasn't. I don't know. Let's that? email Notch. Yeah, let's, let's email, email Notch right afterwards. We'll say, hey, Notch, Notch. Listen, we really like Tech It. We really like it. But why couldn't you make it so that we could program the golems to kill all of our friends because obviously as soon as somebody makes a golem they think wouldn't it be awesome if this thing killed my friend and i think it was just a slight oversight by you notch to, to not include that in tech it so um oh yeah look yours, at this guy the ps lewis brinley so there you go <laughs> the dogs have gone where'd they go well, I Thank God, actually. Hugo, uh, where did where did Hugo? Where did uh, Hugo? I have no idea. <laughs> Hugo, where I, did you go? And, Hugo. and I go, I don't know where I go went. 
I don't I don't care where Hugo and I go went to be honest. Jeez. I don't like them. They're lost. Shame. They're lost. They'll good. they'll turn up. I don't they'll I don't turn like up. Them. Oh I, my god, I, I feel bad. We're not destroying we're not destroying the pen though, in case they come back. Just okay. so you know. Well the pen is pretty bad though, Shin. It's gotta be said. I mean it's not ideal. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't do you any justice. I mean you're meant to be like some some awesome like Minecraft building savant guy. Um and like that's just bad. Uh, like I could have built that with my eyes closed. With G sips while being tortured I'm sorry, by but like the this Vietnamese is... army. So so there you go. <laughs> this is a this is a secret base and it was a dog pen sip. So long as the dogs can sit there and chew their bones, yeah. I'm sure they're fine with whatever they have. Where is this gonna be, Sips? Because I'm gonna build the water plant. Should I just build like a like a a uh, a hallway? Off yeah. of this spiral staircase to the I've, to the I've, hydro plant. I've already built one down here, Shin. Um, you just got to oh, get. Okay. We're just getting. We're getting to it. I'm. I'm getting to it. Okay. Okay. Got to give me H a hurry sec. Up. You got to give me a sec. No. I'm no. struggling. I'm struggling because I miscalculated no. the steps and the slabs and stuff. So like, I'm. I'm yeah, having to is, do some reciprocal. This is pretty weird. Here, go down there. Go straight down that go hole. Down. Yeah, go down and follow the staircase okay. down. Yeah. And then I'll really? I'll patch sure? it up. This... Yeah, just keep going. It's fine. Oh wow! Oh, you've done a lot of work down this redstone. And what's this redstone for? Uh, the is redstone. This a trap, Sips? No, the redstone is to mark where the door is going. It's not a trap. Don't. Worry. Oh, I see. Right, hydro plant is going to be this way. Okay. Well, start pimping this out down here. We need some marble, some marble brick. You know the usual. Make it look nice. Okay. Don't just like. All right. Dig All out right. some like four by four square hydro. I know what you're like, Shin. I'm going to make a big diamond no. pack. It's like 8x8 eight eight squares, and it's like all cobblestone. It looks like shit. <laughs> I don't want any of that. I don't want any of that noise. All right. I don't have any marble sips. What do you want me to do? I've got some here. Go up and con condense okay. some, but here, you can borrow some. Of no, actually, go up and condense some, you lazy bastard. Jesus Christ. Well, all right, all right. But first, I'll hollow, out, I'll hollow out a chamber for the hydro plant. Basically, because I'm going to dig all the way to where the ocean is. If you hollowed out 36 chambers, that'd be pretty cool. 36 chambers. Yeah. And then we could, like, uh, Why? have an epic rap battle. Why not? What's Shin? special Why about not? 36? Is that a luck your lucky number? No, it's like every chamber has, like, some aspect to it. So, like, chamber one might have, like, an aspect of, like, uh, you know, a cheetah or something like that. And that you have to fight a cheetah in hand-to-hand -hand combat and defeat it so that you can learn how to use its kung fu moves. That's how the, the chambers work. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, another one might be, like, Doritos. And you have to eat, like, five grab bags of Doritos in less than a minute in order to be able to actually use the, uh, the Dorito uh, finishing move when you're, when you're fighting. Oh, that's foes. a good one, Sips. Yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah. And, like, another one is you have to eat five grab bags of Doritos and not get any Dorito cheese on your fingers. So, like, you have to be, like, very quick and nimble. So um, That's impossible, Sips. It's I'm, not. It's not. You've got to have I've done solvable it. chambers. I, no. 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 No, you have Some of them Sips. are hard, now you're though. Lying. Some of them are meant to not now be Now you're solved. a big fibber. No, I'm not, Shin. I'm telling you. Some, some yeah, of them you're a big can't. fibber. You're, you're a big fibber. Why, why you got to be so harsh? Why you got to be so harsh? me all the time well i want proof then sips I, I want proof that you can eat a whole bag of doritos without getting any cheese on your fingers you want the proof any Shin? of the cheese flavor you want the proof yeah i want the truth you can't handle the proof you can't handle the proof that's i can't remember what does he say next he says um sorry uh if you're looking for crazy he's gone out to the movies or something like that um I think uh, that was the quote. Crazy. We're all out of crazy here because he, he, went, he went out to the movies. That was the next one. And that's line. when E.T. gets in the basket and uh, eats the donut. Yeah. I think, yeah. Was it a donut? I don't think it was a donut. I think yeah, E.T. E. is on a diet when they filmed E.T., so I don't think it was a donut. I think it was like... He was. was. He was a, looking like pretty one, slim. One single solitary horseradish, actually. And that's why... Um, the kid was crying so much because E.T.'s breath was just so smelly and acidic. Every time he said that he wanted <laughs> yeah. to phone home, the kid was just like wincing in pain because like his eyes would start stinging and stuff. <laughs> it was a tragic movie. Yeah. It's a real tragedy, yeah. Yeah, so, so it was a bad one. 
Oh, I got a water leak here, Sips. There's a there's water in the hydro chamber. This is a disaster. You might need some uh you might need some Drano. I think that's how it works. I think uh when you have a leak Dra Drano. Yeah, you just what's, pour what's Drano? Drano on top of the where the leak is and uh it's something to do with And like it drains it. Yeah, it drains the leak, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I've never used it actually. I I'm I'm only going by what I saw in the commercial. It's like that stuff you pour down the um the sink when you have a clog. And uh, as soon as it hits where the clog is, it goes bang really, really loud. So you actually, you have to wear like um, some protection unless, you, unless you're okay with hearing like really loud sounds all the time. It's like a gunshot, basically. The minute that stuff hits the... Um, gunshot bleach? Yeah. The minute it hits the, uh, the clog, it's just like... <laughs> super <weird. laughs> it's it's actually it comes in it comes in a bottle that's shaped like a revolver <laughs> yeah and to, and, and actually <laughs> to, there's a, there's to get it into the sink and down the pipes so you have it, to pull yeah. the trigger so basically you just shove a gun down the sink <laughs> and shoot <laughs> shoot shoot the clog out that's amazing <laughs> <laughs> oh man that sounds really dangerous though what if you actually what if you don't put it down the sink and you shove the barrel like into like your mum's face or something holy shit that would be, that would be pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be messy. Yeah. That'd yeah. Bang. Messy, yeah. It's gap bleach. Yeah. I don't think it would solve the clog either at all. I mean, you'd probably still have a clogged up sink, so you'd be pretty screwed no. on on all fronts there. I think. Yeah. It would just be a royal screwing all around. Oh my God. Major league screwed. Just, <laughs> just like up that. Shit's Creek without without a gap bleach. Yeah, without a uh, without a without a revolver shaped um, <laughs> a revolver shaped Domestos bottle. <laughs> oh, is that what's called over here, Domestos? What a stupid name! Holy shit! It's like oil uh, of Olay. It's, it's, it's oil of, of Olay, but over here it's called oil of Ule. Ole? It used to Ule. be. No, 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 no. It used to be one of them, but it got changed to the other. I can't remember which. Yeah, I think. It I was... remember being confused once. I saw an advert and I thought, "Wow, that's this, your brand. This is a cheap it? like imitation." That's what you use for your. Yeah, that's what I hair. use every morning yeah. when I moisturize. You moisturize. No, it's moisturizer sips. It's not shampoo. Oh yeah. really? I yeah, I exfoliate that. too. I... Sometimes. It's good though. It's good. Oh shit! Marble brick. Oh no, I do have some marble brick. It just it got all screwed. It's up. good to exfoliate sips. It is good. You're right, Shin. You want to keep you want to keep on top of your um, because you've got such a terrible skin condition. You you need to do that. Scurvy too, and the plague. It, and the plague. Well, I'm a pirate, sips, and the pi pirates are privy to a whole menagerie of exotic ailments and diseases. Yeah, uh, I've got scurvy, space rickets, the plague. Wow. The bubonic plague, which is different as well. Yeah. It's a different one. And um, I've also got a cold to oh, top it off. Yeah, I think I know which one's the worst out of all of those. God. Yeah. Definitely the rickets. Holy shit. <laughs> Definitely the rickets. Oh, yeah. You don't know how many times I've broken my back. God. It's fine if, it's fine if you ride a horse full time, but if not, I mean, if you're not... not on the back of a horse at all times, you don't want to have rickets. Trust me. No well, good. that's the thing. That's what I've had to do. Yeah. I mean, I'm on my ship. I'm on deck, and I can't just be there with a bad crook back saying, "Ah, me hearties, hoist the mainsail," and then, "Oh, me back." So what I've taken to doing is, is I've got a donkey on deck. Oh yeah. That I just parade up and down the poop deck on my donkey. Yeah. And uh, I've got a whip too. And if any any of those uh, landlubbers, any of my crewmates. A slack in, I just get the whip out and I whip them from the back of a donkey. And sometimes uh, I dip, I dip the uh, the tip of the whip in licorice in uh, in my own feces. Oh so, right, okay, yeah. So that like um, when you <laughs> when you when you flick them with the whip, it peppers them with feces, and then it looks like they've got freckles on their face, but actually it's your shit. They walk around with your shit on their face. Holy crap! That's that's how you inspire discipline. It's true. Yeah, amongst the cutthroat sailors of the Seven Seas. Because they don't buy into that whole, you know, just spanking and um, and docking wages. No, they're too hardcore to be phased by that. You really need to just yeah. pepper them with a bit of feces. Yeah, I think when once once the peppering is done, then they know who the boss is. And then if anyone comes yeah. along and has a, a longer whip that does a better lash than yours and maybe peppers more feces about, 
then you're screwed because uh, it's like a mutiny then you're straight in trouble. away. Yeah. yeah, get you. You've got a mutiny on your hands right there. It's just like having a bigger boat. You know, sometimes you just got to bow down and accept that you've been out feceed by a bigger pirate, a, a more impressive, a grander captain. And yeah. that's that's fair enough. That's that's just how the world works. You know. You're absolutely right. So um, this is coming along pretty well, Shin. You'd be you'll be happy to know the um, spiral staircase. No half measures down here, Shin. Oh, nice. It's looking good. It's gonna look all nice. I'm gonna have to go up and condense a whole bunch of more marble and and uh, marble brick, though. That's the only thing. But actually, yeah, this is gonna be cool. Once you step into the secret passageway through the bathroom, it's it's really nice. Uh, I'm gonna start decorating the bathroom next as well. What are we gonna call this guy out here, Mortimer? Let's call him Mortimer. Well, he's 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 another problem solver. Yeah. He's a robot, though, Sips. I'm not sure we should, we should give him, like, a human name. Because what if he gets jumped up and cocky? Then we're just going to have to get a whip out and, you know, lash him with a bit of we're fecal matter. To. I think we should um, stick with a robot name and stick with the problem solver theme because he does solve problems. He does. But it's true. Uh, he is the, a solver of problems. We need a number for him. He's, he can't be 3,000. He's he's at uh, two thousand is taken. Yeah, three thousand is just not original. What about problem solver sixty nine sixty nine underscore x x x underscore Sephiroth Goku? Ah oh, yes, problem solver sixty nine sixty nine underscore x x x x underscore Sephiroth Goku underscore x x x. Pleasure. To make your acquaintance, sir. That is a classy name. Holy shit. For a classy individual. Yeah. I look forward to our time together. Me too. Sephiroth Goku. I can't even remember his name now. I think I got it the wrong way around. Come up to the top, Sips. Let's okay. pretend I'm President Dwight. You've invited me to the secret base. Dwight D. At Tectopia. Yeah. Okay, hang Dwight on a sec. D. Well, I'd be embarrassed, actually. If we're role-playing, I'd be embarrassed if you walked through this at the moment. So let me just fix it up a little That's bit. That's fine, Sips. So role-play the embarrassment. We can, we, can, okay. we can use that. Because if you're embarrassed, it will All spurn right. you on That's to do true. a better job. I, well, I don't want to be spurned. Um, is that like some form of, form of burning? I, I don't want to be burned. Okay, let's let's pretend. Spurned. That's... I think it's what cowboys do because they had spurs. Oh, I yeah. think when you spurned, it's like, like what they do to horses. Like they spurn them on. Oh like yeah, with like the, the the spikes, like they stab them. So I'm just, I've, I've, I've got my, I've got my my uh, my wingtip cowboy boots. So I'm just gonna reverse into you. Look at sixty nine, sixty nine is just like looking at you, like who's this chump? I know what you mean. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. Look, look, the skin on him is really cool though. Look at the um, red. I like the red and the black. It's nice. Okay, Dwight. The red and the black. What? Welcome hey, to the reception. He's blue. Six. Um, Excuse the mess. We're we're still setting up down here. We don't we haven't made a desk or anything yet. So uh, if you'd like to come with me into here, into this room here, um, you'll notice oh, uh, this is a very nice bedroom here, yeah. Mister Ships underscore. Yeah. Who's that fine gentleman in the main lobby? I like his style. He's he looks very very impressive. I'll have you know, sir, that is the the man, the individual who actually put the ram back into the Ramalama Ding Dong. So um you can address him oh, appropriately. That's, that's that's quite a claim to fame. <laughs> uh, sip. You're absolutely Where right are we though. going now? There's a lot of stairs. I don't like stairs. Sips. Well if what your you zimmer can handle it, Dwight, come on down. It's it's not done yet. Uh, okay. But uh, you can see uh, we're hard at work pimping it out we are absolutely pimping the living crap out of the staircase well mr underscore i used to be quite the pimp in my day and i don't know about that i could show you a few things at the pentagon that would make your toes curl oh my god do you think they have a department for pimping at the pentagon like they just have like a whole wing devoted to <laughs> there's hey. a whole section there's it's divided into five and one of the five is the pimp the pimp zone this is very nice. What have you got here, Mr. Underscore? Messy McGee has been down here fucking making a huge mess. Look at this shit all over the place. Do Who's I Messy from? McGee? Well... Sounds like a skilled builder's name to me. <laughs> I'd like actually, to meet this Mr. Messy. He's actually the polar opposite of that. Um, I'm surprised that this room is actually as big as it is uh, because Messy McGee tends to uh, cut <laughs> corners and make really shitty small rooms for stuff that's meant to be grand and epic. Um, 
What else can I say about Messi McGee? Messi McGee. Messi McGee. I don't know. Messi McGee. Mr. Underscore, I think you're full of shit. You know that, you know that son? <laughs> I don't think I care for your tone, Dwight. <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. I put him up. Put into... him up, Mr. Underscore. My, oh, no. my nano arm is charged, you bitch. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, check this out. Try and catch me now, bitch. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, shit. that's right. You're going to have to take uh, your nano uh, arm uh, off now. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, no. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. Hold on, hold on. Let me Dwight, long I'm not range. Sure I, no. I'm not Horizontal? sure I like this no. scatter. Holy shit, I'm out of here. I don't think I like this visit much <laughs> anymore, come, Dwight. Come Look back here, Mr. Underscore. You're full of shit and I'm going to pop you like a freaking piñata. Jesus.